Hello and greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Today in this video I am going to brief you about a small module known as multi-branch model which we have developed considering many client problems from various business verticals. This module basically helps you manage different branches of your company instead of creating different companies or multi-companies within Google. So let me show you a basic configuration that is required for the same. Once we go to users and companies and settings, you'll have an option to create branches. There are four I've already configured. Let me create one more. Let's say I'm creating Hyderabad. I'll choose the company name. In any case, if you are managing multi companies, and if I'm managing multiple warehouses, according to the branches, I can create one from here directly. I just have to add a code if I want and can change the name as well. Okay. So this module is applicable for various processes in Odoo. So let me show it, show it to one by one. I'll start with CRM. Once I go create a lead, I can add branch name in the company. So if I say let's do buy four things. If I add customer details and I'll add the branch, like the Mumbai branch will manage this particular lead. If I go on continuing the process. I can add the different branch in the quotation as well. Let's say I'm creating a quotation. Okay, I add the product. Fine. Now, in other info, I'll have to select the branch name. Then, Just confirm it. Now, if I create an invoice, create invoice, the regular invoice. Now, if I preview the invoice, I'll be able to see the branch name of the of your company, which is going to handle this particular customer and his orders. Okay, so here you can see the source as well as the branch name. So you, as well as the customer, knows how it's handled. Another benefit of this is, like if I go to sales, go back to sales, I can have a branch-wise reporting of the sales that you have done over a particular period. So let's say if I go to the reporting part, and I do a pivot view, and if I select a branch name, I can have it like according to the category I can add the particular branch name that's there so I have data according to what I need so similar to the sales process we can have branch wise quotations as well for purchase so if I go create a request for quotation for a vendor I'll add the vendor the product. Let's say I want to buy storage boxes from him. Ten of them. I'm sorry, ten of it. And if I go to other information, I'll see an option to add branch name. Similar as to what we did in sales process. I confirm the order. Once I've done that, if I go to receipts, I'll be able to see the warehouse that's created according to the branch. So you can see the operation type is handling of the receipts. So this was the functionality for the sales process and the purchase process that you will do managing the different branches of your company. Now, if I go to the inventory part, how multi branches help us to uh, develop warehouses. Like if I go to create one. If I create a new warehouse, let's say I'm naming it as open CS warehouse, 
I can add the branch name if there are multiple multiple warehouses for different branches. If it's from Mumbai, it's for certain and with the short name and I do the necessary configurations. So the processes will help me to differentiate the different warehouses that I have created for my branches. So this was for warehouse, similar is for the locations. So if I'm creating one, like I created warehouse and etc. I can give it a name, right? Location one. I'll add the branch as well. Okay. So different warehouses, multiple locations, everything can be managed by multi branches. So this was for the multi branch model. If you have any queries or to know more about this product, please contact us at contact at Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.